day. All right. Well, you know, on the subject of celebrities. And guests. And guests in general, folks, uh, we try very hard to treat our celebrity guests nicely here at the show. We really do. And we're nice people, I think, genuinely nice people. But sometimes something happens during an interview or behind the scenes and somebody ends up getting a little bit upset with us. And this has happened a few times over the almost four years we've been on the show, right? Well, I'll differ with you on two points. Um, we're not nice people, and it's happened a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that... Yeah. Right. Everything else you said was pretty accurate. Yeah. No, yeah. okay. Well, those minor corrections aside... Just wanted to... Yeah. No, we do. Yeah. We sometimes upset big-time celebrities. And when this happens, I always make sure that an apology letter gets written by me or someone on the show so that we can smooth over any hurt feelings immediately. You know, it's... Try and make a nice gesture. You're, you're very conscientious about that. Yeah. Well, anyway, I thought it'd be kind of fun tonight to take a, a sentimental look back at some of the apology letters that this show has sent out over the last few years to celebrities. And, uh, you know, I think this would be fun for people at home to see. Mm -hmm. It's honest and it's cleansing. Right. Right? It, it makes us feel better. Exactly. You know? Yeah, right. we can take our mistakes and make content out yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and put it back on the show. And fill time with yes. it. Yes. Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, let's, uh, there was an incident, for example, when uh, Keanu Reeves was on the program as a guest. Well, you're not going to be happy with this then. Uh, there was an incident that, that got Keanu Reeves a little upset, so I, I sent him this note. It goes like this. Dear Keanu. I'm sorry for the bathroom mix-up that occurred when you were here recently. You're absolutely right. We should use symbols to label them, not big, confusing words like men and women. Please have whoever is reading this to you apologize to me profusely. All the best. Honey. I... We're sorry. And then I had to write him a note telling him what profusely meant. <laughs> After, after I wrote you that note, right, explain right, it. Yeah. All right, you see how it works. Now, we had uh, Frank Gifford on our show recently. <laughs> and afterwards, afterwards, I actually had to write an apology note to Kathy Lee. And uh, here's how it went. Dear Kathy Lee, I'm sorry I didn't include the following requested information about your husband's recent appearance, and I apologize if it threw off your sophisticated frank tracking system <laughs> to confirm frank arrived at our studios at 4 58 p.m and departed promptly at 6 10 p.m he was in our sight and fully clothed at all times i regret that this mistake resulted in yet another vicious beating for frank here's truly conan o'brien i it's a sophisticated system she has the least we can do is try and make her feel good now, uh, it was a big thrill for all of us when Al Gore came on as a guest. The vice president. Vice president. That is a big deal to have him on. Uh, and um, then I thought maybe I was a little obnoxious, so I felt I should apologize with an appropriate note. And it goes like this. Dear Vice President Gore, my deepest apologies. I realize that you are here to talk seriously about environmental policy, which makes my repeated question of, well, which daughter do you think is the hottest? All the more inappropriate. Best wishes, Conan O'Brien, and felt bad about the whole thing. He never did answer us, either. No, he didn't. No. Now, uh, Brad Pitt was on our show recently. Well, then, you're going to love this. Yeah, okay. He was on our show, and he was a little upset after he left, so I wrote him a little note. It goes like this. Dear Brad... I'm sorry that you misplaced your role of vacation film while at our show. Rest assured, if it is ever found, we will do the right thing and return it to you as soon as possible. Yours, Conan O'Brien. P.S. Nice package. So, uh... I think you found that film, didn't you? I got a dark room at home, you know, it's a hobby. I know you do. All right, here's a uh, short note I wrote to Bill Gates after he was here. Dear Mr. Gates, I want to apologize for Andy's behavior the other night. It was completely inappropriate when he grabbed you by the ankles, turned you upside down, and shook you. He heard that you were very wealthy, and he has the mind of a child. Sincerely, Tom O'Brien.
go, Andy, when, they, mm -hmm. when we say you have the mind of a child. I wanted money for candy. <laughs> I bought Candy yeah. Factory. <laughs> Please, one night, wear a little Lord Fauntleroy outfit <laughs> and have a big lolly. Please. All right. Just for me. All right. Uh, but you, you don't mean on the show. No, not at oh, all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll go to your dark room. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, what happened to the show? Oh, the Internet's going to be on fire Internet. tonight. Follow me. Proof. Proof that there is a romantic interlude. Uh, all right. Take that and run, kids. Uh, Joan Embry, you know, you all know her. She's from the San Diego Zoo. Oh, yeah. She, she was here with a bunch of her animals. And uh, after she was on the program, I uh, wrote her this letter. I thought it was appropriate. Dear Joan, just a quick note to again thank you for appearing on last night's very exciting show. And I'm not just saying that because Richard Gere was the lead guest. However, I was very upset to hear about the mysterious disappearance of the rare African gerbils you brought on the show. We'll, of course, reimburse you for the loss again. My apologies. <laughs> Andy, warm up the car outside. <laughs> Well, I, the first getaway in talk show I'm history. Just, I'm just glad I have the mind of a child and I couldn't put <laughs> all that together. You're safe. Yeah. Yeah, all right. We'll be... There'd be a nasty image in my Oh, mind yeah. Right Wouldn't want that. If I... If you got it. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here's a quick one I sent off to Mike Tyson after he was just on the show. Dear Mike, I want you to know that I always wear giant steel reinforced ear protectors for every interview. I hope you don't think I wore them just for you. Sincerely, Conan O'Brien. And uh, followed up by this one, I sent, sent to Fran Drescher. That's right. Dear Fran, I want you to know that I always wear giant steel reinforced ear protectors for every interview. I hope you don't think I wore them just for you. Because of the annoying voice. Right. Right. Eh. Mm. Something uh, really bad happened when Ellen DeGeneres mm. was here recently, yeah. so I wrote this letter. Yeah. Uh, Dear Ellen, I apologize that our otherwise tasteful and informative interview was disrupted by our band leader's repeated shouts of, Once you go Max, you'll never go Max. It was most upsetting. Cecilia Ears, Conan O'Brien. It's such a crappy line. <laughs> it doesn't work. All right, yeah, all right, very nice. And then uh, finally, I really owed uh, that Irish river dance star, Michael Flatley. You know that guy? I really owed him an apology after he appeared here, and I wrote one. Dear Michael, I'm sorry about my slip of the tongue on last night's show. I know your nickname is Lord of the Dance and not Swishy McJackass. All the best, Colonel O'Brien. Yeah. I mean, we gotta right now start cranking up the apology that's letters that's for right. apology for letters. Uh, we'll take a little commercial break. When we come back, the gambler gonna be here. Kenny Rogers. Okay.